Grace and peace to you all, people of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together for truly we serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. And we just bless the name of Jesus for he is worthy to be praised. Amen. People of God, truly we thank him for another day. Hallelujah. People of God, I want to come back and encourage you once again um, as God has unctioned me to do a part two of don't ignore the signs. Um, people of God, I tell you, this is so important that we do not ignore the signs that God begins to allow us to see. And we have to remember, as the scripture tells us in First Samuel, the 15th chapter, when it was talking about soil, Saul. And the Bible began to tell it, it is better to obey than to sacrifice. You remember how God gave um, Saul instruction to go and just um, destroy everything in that land. And so Saul took it upon himself to say, you know, uh, we they, they, he kept the good things of that land. And he began to say, we can make a sacrifice unto God. And so sometimes people of God, we must realize is that um, you, we feel like, you know, long as I'm doing this in, in, in a godly way, then, you know, it's okay not realizing that we must obey the voice of God in everything that we do and everything that God is saying. And so God began to let us know because there are some of you that God has already began to warn about eating certain things. Hallelujah. My God, whether it be eating it um, because he's telling you to go without something for a season or rather be eaten that he said, I don't want you to eat at a certain place. I don't want you to eat from a certain individual. People of God, whatever it may be, God is continuing. He's bringing his word to warn you, to let you know that this is the Lord that's speaking to you. You don't understand why you're feeling what you're feeling. And, 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 and so, so many times people of God, we begin to blame excuse me, we begin to blame things on the enemy when it is God that's trying to warn you. I can remember from my own life, people of God, because the reason I'm so passionate about delivering what God says to deliver concerning this, because I can remember when I disobeyed God, hallelujah, God told me, he said, when you go this place, I don't want you to eat, hallelujah, and anywhere I end up eating, and I'm telling you, I suffer, and I suffer for a long time time. You hear me? I suffer for a long time, people of God. And so this is what you must realize is that when God gives you instruction, you know, oftentimes what we think as people of God that, oh, I can just pray and it's going to be all right. Well, baby, that's not the case. And that is not going to happen in your life. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that because when God gives you instructions and God tells you things not to do and you thinking that, oh, because I prayed on it, but see what you don't understand is you disobey God. So God is not going to do no just automatically say, oh, oh, with Kateria, you know what? Since you prayed over the food, I'm still going to bless it. No, 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 no. God said, I told you not to eat. And so there was consequence and there was some suffering that I had to go through just because I disobeyed what God said to said not to do. And so you're thinking that, you know, you're not going to suffer. I'm, I want to bring you a warning that, yes, you are, because you're continuing to ignore what God is saying. You're continuing to ignore the signs that he's saying. Now, I thank God for his grace and mercy that he brought me through. But let me tell you, it was a battle. It was a fight. Hallelujah. I was fighting through this thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because I ignore what God said. Hallelujah. It is with purpose in what God is telling you why not to do things. People of God, you got to realize, just like I had to realize, there are evil people in this earth. There are evil people in this world, but it's God's desire to protect his very own. But how can he protect us when we ignore the signs? And when he's bringing the signs for you to obey what he's saying, but you want to take uh, upon yourself that it's okay. It's not okay because you are going to suffer for disobeying God. Saul had to suffer. The, the anointing was taken off of him because he disobeyed God. And what he thought that he thought that he was doing was good. And see, that's just like some of you. You think because I'm praying over it's okay. No, if God told you not to eat it, you shouldn't eat it or you should not drink it. And quit thinking that God is not speaking like this. Yes, he is. 
Just like I can remember that God told me a certain town. He said, okay, I don't want you to eat anything else from this town. And I said, you know, because you know how we are as individuals, I began to look at a certain place and I said, well, surely, you know, God is not talking about this because this, this woman is not even from, um, she's not from around here. She don't know me because see what you start to do and what I did do is we start trying to analyze what God is saying and what he meant. No, he meant just what he said. He said, I don't want you to eat in this particular town anymore. And that's what God meant. And so I took it upon myself and I said, well, you know, surely, mm -mm, because um, she's not even from around here. And so I ate something from this particular place and I paid the price for it that night. However, the first time was different than this time. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the first time I disobeyed God, I went through for some months. And I had to war and I had to fight. And I'm talking about this took place every night. I couldn't even sleep because I had to get up and war in the spirit because I disobeyed the voice of God. And I was so upset with my husband because I'm like, you hear me up here. You need to get up and war with me. And God said, this is not his fight. It's your fight because you disobeyed me. So God is sending warning that you got to wake up because you're asleep and you think it's about you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Thinking that you, you know, because you're praying and you lifting up before God because God has already quickened you in your spirit about an individual. And he's saying, don't eat and don't drink. But because you're passive, you think, you know what? That's just the devil speaking. So I'm just going to lift it up and pray. And that's why you're going to suffer. Yes, you are. You're going to suffer because you simply disobey God. God will begin to send you certain signs and tell you don't eat, don't drink. But we keep ignoring the signs. And then when you ignore the sign, the same one you ignore and you disobey, you go back to him and pray. And then he said, no, I told you not to. So now you got to suffer. Why suffer when you don't have to suffer? There are some things, people of God, that you will suffer in life. But why suffer when God's saying, I'm telling you this because it's going to help you. This is beneficial for you. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. That even if you suffer, because there are many of you that has already suffered. I tell you this. It will teach you something. See, it taught me something. Even though I suffer, I won't turn back to that way again. I had to suffer, but I told myself, I don't care who don't understand. That's your business if you don't understand. This is not between me and you. This is between me and God. You understand that I must obey the voice of God, not on what you think and not on what, how you feel, but it, 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 it's, it's according to what he told me. And so because I suffer like I did, now whatever God said, I say, okay, God, thank you. Now I'm obeying. But it took me suffering. It shouldn't have to, it, that, that, that shouldn't have to take place in our lives. However, people of God, sometimes it will because we have, the, the Bible said that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because we don't have the knowledge of God. That when God is speaking, that he is speaking, hallelujah. It may not be, because see, sometimes I find out this too. Sometimes we look at things and say, well, why would God be telling me that? You, it's not your job to ask why he's telling me to stop eating places, why he's telling me to stop eating a certain thing. All I need to do is obey it because sometimes God will not give you the full instruction. Sometimes he won't even let you know why he told you what he told you. And sometimes further down the line, you will see why God told you not to do this and not to do that. But guess what? He doesn't owe you an explanation. All he wants you to do is obey him and trust him in what he says. And so many of fa uh, you, you, you're failing tests or you have failed the test because you simply won't obey 
the voice of God. You think that everybody is for you. Everybody is not for you. Listen, there is a manipulating spirit out here. And I'm telling you, it is running rampant in the earth. And what it is, is trying to manipulate the people of God. And it's trying to get things to come to pass in your life. So that's why God said, I'm sending my word, my word, how, why? To heal you and to deliver you out of your destruction. He said, it is him why you feeling the way you feel. And another thing, you better be careful on the clothes that you're taking from other people. People of God, there are some things that's going on in the realm of the spirit that God is beginning to warn you of. And you know, hallelujah, you know you feel it a certain way, but you are so passive. I was there, people of God, passive. Don't want to hurt nobody's feeling. But my God, you don't mind hurting God's feeling by disobeying him. You don't care nothing about the master feeling. Why? Because we rather, we rather please man than God, but the devil is a liar. You better please God than, 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 than um, you rather please God than rather please man. People of God, it's time for us to wake up. God is sending his word and I'm telling you, hallelujah, there, there, there are some things that's going to come to pass when you disobey God's voice. It's just like a young prophet and the old prophet. Come on. Because see, sometimes people, ain't no way God going to tell you not to eat out of town or city. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. But it's your job to obey the voice of God. When he told the young prophet, he said, don't eat nothing and don't drink nothing and don't go the way that you came. We got to be willing to obey the voice of God and not allow anybody to take you off track on what God is speaking to you. This word is going to confirm some things that God already shared with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you feel in a certain way. And you wonder why they do. Why, why, well, Lord, why are they cooking this for me? Why are they baking this for me? You better wake up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. There are some people that's working behind the scene and they acting like, but they're working with somebody else to come against you. Hallelujah. Cause see, this is what people think. Sometimes people can be in the midst, but they forgot the Bible say, don't be partaker of another man's sin either. But see, what, they, what, what they'll do is that, you know, people start doing stuff, fixing stuff, and they'll turn their back and say, oh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what they're doing, and you shall, you shall receive your reward. You know exactly what they're doing. Let me tell you, God's word is not returning back unto a void. People only like to quote that scripture when it comes down to blessings. No, honey, your evil works, his work, his word is not returning back unto him void. It is going to come to pass, people of God. God has been speaking expressly of things that's getting ready to take place. Hallelujah. In this earth. Yes, yes, yes. He's been preparing his people. He's been telling you to stay focused. Stay with him. Hallelujah, that when these things come, that my God, my God, that you won't lose your mind. Hallelujah, and you won't forget that God told me that he would keep me during these times. So God is beginning to warn us. But you got to quit trying to take matters into your own hand and think it's about you. No, God told you not to, then you can't. There are some things in your home. That has been given to you as a gift. And you so love it. But it's something in your spirit. That every time you look at it's God warning you. Yeah, uh-huh. It's God warning you. Get that out of your home. Hallelujah. Because it was sent to your home with something attached to it. Which is a spirit. That's why I told y'all. Take your time and go study about monitoring spirits. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of people have launched out monitoring spirits to monitor your life, to try to cause, uh, my God, destruction in your life. And these monitoring spirits come in many different forms. And that's what the enemy will do. That's why he said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We have to get the knowledge, hallelujah, from God that we know the attacks and the devices of the enemy because the enemy wants to kill you. He wants to steal from you and he wants to destroy your life. But God said, but I came to give you life and life more abundantly. Why wouldn't you obey my voice? Hallelujah. Why wouldn't you obey my voice? 
God said, I'm giving you warnings. You see that certain things happen. Hallelujah. When you're getting ready to eat, when you're getting ready to drink, I'm warning you before you get there. Hallelujah. But you thinking that you can pray over everything and it's going to be all right. But God said not so. He said, because if I told you not to, my God, you're going against his word. You're going against what he says and you will suffer. You will suffer for disobeying the voice of God. You are going to suffer. You got to stop being passive. That's not it. That's not a humble spirit. That's a spirit that the devil is using against you to deceive you. And you got to realize the works of the devil. But you got to know who's greater. And who's greater is Jesus Christ. And he will begin to warn you. And he'll begin to tell you things. But you're so busy blaming it on the devil. God said, that is me speaking to you. He said, I'm telling you that they're not for you. That they are against you. I'm telling you that your season is up. Oh, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He said, I'm telling you that I'm bringing a separation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you, ain't, you, 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 you don't need to be pumped up. Hallelujah. By vain words. But he said, but hear my voice. You got to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. You need to be seeking his instruction. God, what are you saying? Because I want to follow your instructions on what you say. But you got to be careful of those that's coming. And those that's coming and tell you, no, you know. Because listen, listen. God wouldn't tell you that. Why wouldn't he tell you that? Why wouldn't God tell you that? Why wouldn't he tell you not to eat, drink? Or not even taste when he knows that the enemy has a plan and the plan is to destroy you. For there are many people that I know that I have encountered and I was talking to him one day and this individual called me and, 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 and they was led by God's spirit to call me. And as I was talking to her, God told me, he said, tell her that she'd been fed something. And so I'm not going to get deep into the story. But immediately after she finished talking, I said, this is what the Lord said. Immediately, she realized when it took place. She realized the signs that God was giving her, but she didn't know. People of God, you can easily miss the signs. You can easily miss them. And I know, I hadn't talked to her, but I know her experience that took place. I know now that she'll say, I don't care how people feel about me. I don't care what people say about me. When I hear the voice of God, uh, I'm feeling a certain way because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. I shall obey the voice of God because see, there are signs that God will give you. You will start feeling. And this is the thing is the discerning of spirits. That's why you will begin to feel a certain way and you will not be comfortable. It's an uneasy spirit that comes upon you because God is trying to warn you. But you know what? We want to be nice to everybody and we should be nice and we should love, but we are not coming prey to the enemy's devices because that's a spirit of deception that if I don't do what they want me to do, then I'm not a nice person. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Me not come and pray to your devices does not make me an evil person does not make me a wicked person that's a lie no the wicked person is those that's working wickedness against God's people that's trying to get them to do things that God said not to do and they will talk about you but you got to realize the Bible said we're going to be persecuted it's okay because see I find out in life that when an, when an individual has to go through some things 
and they suffer for a while, they don't care what you say. I'm going to obey God. Because see, when I was warned at night, nobody was warned but me and the Lord. It was me warned in the spirit. And it was my, it was my fight. So I don't expect nobody else. Because I disobeyed God. But it taught me a lesson. It taught me to obey his voice. Quit trying to analyze things out yourself. Quit trying to say, he said, don't eat here. Uh, well, you know what? I don't think God was talking about right here. Uh, you know what? Because, you know, um, um, them, those, those people right there, they, they, they not even like us. So, you know, I can, I can eat there. That's a lie. He said, don't eat. And God means what he says. I don't try to, I don't try to analyze nothing no more. Because I was there. I said, I said, well, you know, he's not talking about this place because they only hire certain people. And, you know, uh, and he, it has nothing to do because, see, we too busy looking at it in a natural. Not being able to comprehend the things in the spirit. So that's why we'll sit down and try to analyze. Uh, he said this, but I, I don't believe it's this. No. What you need to do. Is obey the voice of God. That's what we need to do. Obey his voice. And there are some times in life. He will begin to show you things. As time come. And he'll begin to give you more understanding. And even if he doesn't. You still got to trust him. And obey him. Because sometimes we be looking to say, well, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for God to come tell me something. Else. Sometimes he's not going to tell you anything else. But to obey his voice. And that's what we need to do because you're in training ground. He's training you to obey his voice. At all times. At all times. He may tell you, he said, don't go eat lunch there today. You got to obey God. Oh, Lord, this is my favorite place of eating. And I and I already said, you know, I was waiting all the way to Thursday and I was going to go there and eat. And God may say, don't eat there today. And you might have ate. And you might have felt like, oh, nothing happened. So that was just me. What you don't understand is you continue to disobey God. You will see the results of your disobedient spirit or for being disobedient. You will see it. So God is still warning. There are some things that God has been dealing with, with you about. People of God, we have to stand boldly on the word of God and what God says and not fall prey to the works of the enemy. He said to remind you, there are some clothing. There are some things that he's already warned you about. You got to take heed to what God says. It's not to be, people God, you're not being nasty. If somebody offer you something, say, I thank you for considering me, but no thank you. There's nothing wrong with that. But we be hard on ourselves. I've been there. I've been there. Taking stuff. And even my husband, he was like, listen, don't take that stuff. But oh me. They so sweet. They so nice. I didn't say everybody. Because I know sometimes people, you know, you know what God quicken your spirit. Because like I tell you, everybody's not evil. Everybody's not wicked. But you better trust and believe we got some wicked, evil people in this earth. So we have to learn how to obey God's voice. We have to. It doesn't matter if people talk about you. It's okay. 
It's okay. You, you got to stop worrying about that. And you got to simply obey the voice of God. And you know he's speaking. You know he's speaking. Because he said to obey him is better than sacrifice. To obey him is better than sacrifice. So we have to obey the voice of God. Many people don't know what's going on with them. It's simply because they disobey God when he told them not to eat or drink. People, there are some wicked people in this earth. There are some wicked people in this earth. And we got to know that. And people will manipulate things to make it seem like something that is not. Because Satan tries to duplicate things. And that's what he'll do. And that's the things that he's working. He's trying to duplicate things to have you thinking that this is what it is. But it's a spirit. That's why they can't find out what's going on. Because it's not in the natural. It's in the spirit. So that is why when you go for the checkup and they can't find out what's going on because it's not natural, it's in the spirit. You got to learn how to obey voice. You got to learn how to obey the voice of God. For he's warning you right now. And you know he's already dealt with you about the situation. But you want everybody to love you. Everybody's not going to love you. Everybody is not going to love you. Especially when you decide to live for Jesus Christ. For he said, you shall be persecuted. For my name's sake, for standing on righteousness, for standing on holiness, many are going to hate you. But I want to encourage you to continue to stand. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Father, we magnify your holy and your righteous name. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. Father, I lift up my brothers and sister, oh God. That shall come across, Lord God, this message. I pray for each individual right now in the name of Jesus. Father, those that you're trying to warn, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Knowing, God, the attacks of the enemy. But, Father, I pray now, Lord God, that you will touch their minds, oh God. That you will open up their eyes that they should see clearly, oh God. Father, I pray that you will give them the strength, oh God. You will give them endurance, oh God, to endure, Father God. Any and everything, oh God, that's trying to come against them. That they know, Father, that no weapon that's forming against them is going to prosper. But, Father God, I pray now, God, that they will take heed to your word, oh God. That they will submit themselves unto you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Even though, Lord God, it will cause separation, oh God. It will cause those, oh God, my God, oh to separate themselves from, from them, oh God. But, Father, let them realize, oh God, that it is with purpose, oh God, that you're bringing the separation oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus oh God. We come against oh God every work of evil right now. We're coming against every works of darkness right now in the mighty name of Jesus oh God that you expose the enemy oh God for who he is in the name of Jesus Christ oh God. Knowing Father that we are more than conquerors oh God and I speak and decree God that you're delivering them with a mighty hand oh God in the mighty name of Jesus oh God that they will not Lord Jesus uh, wrestle oh God. Hallelujah Jesus uh, between two opinions oh God, but they're going to, Lord God, obey your voice uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, loose them, Lord God, uh, from all distractions, oh God, and every hindering spirit, oh God, that's trying to hinder the move of God, uh, that's in their life, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, touch your people now, Lord God, that we realize, oh God, that this is the hour uh, that we shall be steadfast, uh, unmovable, oh God, always abounding in your work, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and those, oh God, uh, that this obey God. I pray now, Jesus, that you will strengthen them, that they will know, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, that they can make it, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord, give them strength, oh God, to come out with a mighty hand, 
Uh, deliver them now, Jesus. Uh, touch them now, Jesus. Uh, from the crown of their heads uh, to the sole of their feet, oh God. Uh, begin, Lord Jesus, uh, to drive out, Lord, uh, every evil spirit, oh God. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, that's not like you, God. Uh, we decree and declare now uh, that there's a mighty move of God uh, all over this land. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, begin to shift the atmosphere. Uh, begin to shift their surroundings. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that you will show up, oh God. Uh, show up, Jesus, uh, in the midst of their situation. Uh, that they'll realize, Lord Jesus, uh, that they shall obey. Uh, they will do, Lord, uh, what you have called them to do. Uh, they will submit themselves uh, to the mighty hand of Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, Lord Jesus, uh, he's going to bring you out uh, with a mighty hand. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, there were things that you had to endure uh, because you disobeyed God. Uh, but he said, I'm still here. Uh, I'm still here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you. He said, I'm still here. I am still here. He's still in the midst. Even in your disobedience to God. Mm, my God, my God. He said, I'm still here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Jesus. He said, I'm still here. He said, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Yes, 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 he said. Uh, yes, you did evil. But God said, I still was calling you to repentance. Uh, I'm still calling you to turn in this hour. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that you can escape. Oh, shame, mama, say, uh, the sword that's coming. Oh, uh, yes, Lord, why you still, why you still yet have a time? God said, this is the time. This is the hour that you say yes to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God is doing a new thing right now in the name of Jesus. He said, yes. <laughs> Some of you had disobeyed God and you wonder why you're suffering. Oh, Shekhaba, I seek you. He said, it's because of your disobedience you are suffering. But God said, I am the God that can restore. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus, he can restore you back. Oh, Shekhaba, I see. Yes, Lord. And God wants to restore you back. Yes, he does. He said, those that are willing and will be obedient. In the name of Jesus, don't give up. Oh, shame, I say. I decree and declare that you won't give up. You are so tired, but God said, I'm still here. I'm still here. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have what's inside of you to make it. You can make it. The enemy wants to change your language. He wants you to talk in doubt. He wants you to talk in defeat. But God said, I'm yet still here. And he's continued to call you out of that dark place into this marvelous light. Hallelujah, Jesus, that you will not be a snare for the enemy. For God is your deliverer. And he shall deliver you, hallelujah, Jesus, with a mighty hand. Father, we thank you for the souls that you're delivering right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for those that you're restoring back right now because you said the spirit of reconciliation, hallelujah, has come. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You're reconciling those back to you. Yes, Lord, they left you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. They went about in their own ways, oh God, but they realized the error of their ways. And now, God, you said, Jesus, uh, that you're receiving them back right now in the name of Jesus Christ. He is receiving you back right now. Right now. Yes, you lost your way. You turned your back on God. You did. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because of your suffering. But your suffering was out of your disobedience. However, it was made, it was there to prove you and let you know 
that you must obey the voice of God. But God is doing a new thing in your life right now in the name of Jesus. He's doing a new thing right now in the name of Jesus. Don't worry about when he's going to deliver, but he is going to deliver you. You continue to obey the voice of God. A lot of times we put ourselves in situations and we want God to do it quickly. But there's a price to pay when we disobey God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is a price to pay when you disobey him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God. There's a price to pay. But I decree and declare over your life right now in the name of Jesus that God will sustain you in this hour and hours to come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you now for all that you have done and that, that you're about to do in their lives. Father, I pray your strength upon them that they will have the strength to endure. Hallelujah. That they know, Father, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. That great is he that is within them. Hallelujah. Than he that is in this world. Father, we pray now, God, that you will continue to go with your people and be with us throughout this day. No hurt, no harm, no danger, no accidents, no sickness or disease or death shall come nigh us. Father, we shall live and not die to declare your works. We seal this prayer now in your precious son, Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen.